All right, hey guys. So I had mentioned in my January wax picks or end of December, January wax picks that I'm starting something called a project wax. So what this is, is I have a container full of wax that is at least two years old. And by two years old, I mean like 2016 or it's about to be 2019. So I got to get through it, got to get rid of it. I went through it today. I got rid of a lot, like probably like a quarter of it, and then I kept the other 75% of it because um, some of the scents I wasn't reaching for because I didn't really like them. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's just hard to reach for certain old scents, especially since I put them in like one container all together, and it was a container that I really didn't reach for. So that was obviously just my fault, and I need to be more proactive about it. So I'm starting a project wax, which is basically, um, I'm going to take this container. This is just a regular plastic container. I fill it with wax from that bin. Um, and I'll see if I can show you the bin. It's right there. That container there contains all of the old wax. And so I take some, put it in this container, and I am going to work through this container until I finish it. And then once I finish it, I will replenish it with more stuff from that bin. But I want to get through that bin. And that is kind of my goal. My, I kind of want to make it this Project Wax kind of run for six months and see how far I can get. I want to finish one full container at least one full container every two months so we'll see how I do um, the first two months of this project um, at, and it'll start basically at the beginning of 2019 so we'll see how that goes and um, I'll probably be doing updates every month for it so at the two month mark we'll see how far I get down this bin and I will kind of change my goal accordingly, but right now I want to get through all that wax within six months. I have a good variety of fall, winter, and a good variety of summer, spring scents. So it's not that I'm going to be lacking anything to choose from. There are a lot of things, a lot of vendors, a lot of old vendors, a lot of current vendors. So I just want to get through it because I don't want to waste the wax because it's still good wax. But obviously it's older, it's not going to last forever, the bags are gross looking, like look at this, and they're just kind of sitting there, and I want to use them up, and the older they get, the more dud wax it'll become, so I can also probably make comments on how well certain companies wax last, if you're interested in that as well, but this is mostly just me trying to finish wax because as you guys know from my melt videos I don't really finish a lot of wax because not that I'm stingy with wax um, because if I need more wax I'll put it in but the thing is I mostly melt in my bedroom and like I've said my bedroom isn't very large whatsoever and there's not a lot of airflow in my room my room tends to be the hottest room in the house there's not a lot of AC that comes in not a lot of just not a lot of airflow that comes into my room. So I can put in one piece of a clamshell, it'll throw like crazy. I can put in like half a scent shot, it'll throw like crazy. So for me, like it's hard to finish a lot of wax at once. So with this Project Wax, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to finish everything as quickly as I can. And because it's two years old, I don't think I'll have too much of a problem with that because the wax will be probably less potent, hopefully. Um, if it's as potent as it, it was in the very beginning, that will be stressful. I don't know how I'll do that. But anyways, that's kind of my little intro. So um, hopefully by the end of February, by the beginning of March, I will have finished this whole basket. So I'll get started with what is currently in it. It's not organized, I'm just gonna grab from the box, so it's not gonna be organized by vendor, so I'm sorry about that, it'll just be, kinda be all over the place, but yeah. So the first thing I see here is Case Creations I'm Coconuts. This is a custom blend I made of sugar cookie, creamy zucchini bread, and coconut cream pie. This is kind of a dupe, not dupe, but it's like a recreation of um, 
Koopa Claus is coming to town from Rose Girls, and I have three fluted tarts of that. And I love Case Creations. Really, really great wax, and it smells exactly, exactly like Koopa Claus is coming to town. And then I have Sif My Tarts, this little mini chunk, I guess, in sugar cookie, marshmallow fluff, and zucchini bread. And then I have Treat Yourself from Rose Girls. This is just a one melt left. I have half a cent shot from Haley's and gooey glazed jelly donuts. I have Rose Girls Princess It's Cold Outside, which I believe is some kind of cinnamon donut scent or something. Then I have Storybook Scents Winter is Coming, and it's only missing one cube, and this is lemon cakes, blackberry jam, butter cookies, vanilla, and honey. I don't think I'm going to go too much in this scent description, so I'm just going to show you what I have. Um, especially for, like, for storybook scents, they don't even exist anymore, so I'm not really going to give you descriptions until I do the actual reviews and the updates for what I've melted. Um, here I have L3's Brown Sugar Ice Cream Scoop Bread, and these ones say 15, but they're supposed to say 16. This was a custom blend. I have Maid Man from VCS. This is from 2015. That is old. That's half a scent shot. I have Rose Girls Blueberry Muffin Pie Crust. I have Rose Girls Crunchberry Kool-Aid. I have Super Tarts Snape. And I'm just missing one cube from that time show. I have Storybook Sense Hannah, and I'm missing two cubes. I have Half a Cent Shot from Super Tarts in Flame Princess. I have Rose Girls Crazy Pants Fluff Puffs, and I have two chunks of that. I have L3. I have Raspberry Whipped Cream Lucky Charms, and I'm just missing a quarter of a chunk. I have Storybook Scents um, Combo 3, which is Fruit Lips, Sweet Dough, Cotton Candy. I really don't know what Combo 3 means. Then I have Super Tarts um, Immortal Child. And I have a full clam and a clam missing one cube. I have L3's Bad Wolf and Lemon Curd. And I'm missing a quarter of that. I have L3 Brown Sugar Pecan. This is just a sample. I have Peeps from Haley's, a scent shot. And as you can see, a lot of these ones, the ones at the beginning, I tried to choose ones that are going to be easily finished, like all these Rose Girl ones. And I tried to choose a lot of fall winter scents just because it's going to be cold for a while. So it'll be more, it'll be easier for me to melt all of the cinnamony heavy bakery scents. I have Storybook Scents Blitzgiving. And I'm missing two cubes in that. I have Rose Girl Strawberry Pink Stiletto, Haley's Brown Sugar Pound Cake, I have two cubes and L3 Gilda Jean from a clamshell, I have a little sample scent shot in Fred and Wilma from VCS, I have half a scent shot in American Sweetheart from VCS, I have a little bunny sample in Lemon Sorbet from L3, oh! That fell. I have Sister Sisters from Storybook Scents and it's missing one cube. I have half of a fluted tart in Coconut Cream Buy from Kay's Creations. I have a scent shot from Super Tarts and Peppermint Butler. I have half a scent shot in Best Friend Strawberry Raspberry Guava from Haley's. I have half a fluted tart in Chiffon Bliss Cookies from Kay's Creations. I have, um, Two thirds of a scent shot from Super Tarts and Pizza Time. I have two cubes of a clamshell from Sunny and Cher from L3. I have Rose Girls Raspberry Pineapple Birthday Cake. I have half a scent shot in Raspberry Guava from Carol Fabi Victoria. I have a full clamshell in Spencer from Storybook Scents. Koopa Class is coming to town from Rose Girls, part of a pie. I have half a cent shot in Mandarin Tiki from Tiffany Candles. I have cotton candy frosting vanilla wafers from Haley's. I have Sweet on Paris from L3, which is a sample. 
I have two cubes missing from the Bathing Gardens Fried Candy Donut clamshell. I have a cube missing from Fire and Blood from Storybook Sense. I have Twinkies from Haley's Half a Cent Shot. I have Kay's Lisa's Fluffy Coconut. I have Serendipity Pie from Mandela. It's just a little mini um, tree. I have Bella Swan. I have, I'm missing, I've only used up a quarter of Bella Swan from Candle Fairy Career. I have two cubes of Super Tarts Hagrid. I have two uh, fluted tarts from Haley's and uh, Mango Sorbet Strawberry Raspberry Guava. I have half a cent shot from Super Tarts in BMO. I have part of a pie in Star of Wonder, Star of Night from Rose Girls. I have half of a fluted tart and strawberry patch cake from Kiss. I have two cubes of Poppy's Coaster Ride from the Amazing Garden. I have Little Red's Bountiful Basket Booberry from L3 and I just have a quarter missing from that. I have blueberry lemon sugar buttermilk flapjacks from L3 and a, cube, a quarter missing from that as well. I have pink stiletto cotton candy cocktail from Haley's. I have ice lemon biscotti blackberry jam butter cookies and vanilla bean noel from Haley's. I have whipped cream from Haley's. I have part of a pie from Yoshi the Red Nose Dino. Mm -hmm. From Rose Girls, jeez, I can't speak. Um, I have cinnamon sugar pecan, cinnamon sugar pumpkin pecan waffles from L3, and I'm missing a quarter. It's just cut really badly. Um, I have brown sugar and honey wackadoodle ice cream scoop. Uh, it, I guess like a quarter of the ice cream scoop is missing. This is from Rose Girls. I have hear me roar from Storybook Sense, and I have two cubes missing from that. I have Case Creations Creamy Zucchini Snap Sticks, I think they're called, or Blend of Sticks or something like that. I have a cube missing from Merryweather from Storybook Scents. I have a scent shot from Vintage She Scents and South Pacific Shave Ice. I have a cube missing from Vintage Circus from Bathing Garden. I have Things We Love from Tulula and Poe. I have a cube missing from a Fat Santa from Storybook Scents. I have part of a pie from Rose Girls and Grandma Got Run Over by a Chain Chomp. I have a quarter missing from Leisha from Candles by Victoria. I have this bakery bag from Candles by Victoria in the scent Tiffany D. I have half of a scent shot in Spoiled Stepsisters from Vintage Chic Scents. A half a sun shot in strawberry raspberry guava from Haley's. I have a sun shot in peppermint from Haley's. I have a sun shot in Atlantic City from VCS. I have a scoopable from Tiffany Candles in mango papaya, and like part of it's used. And then I have. Half of a fruited tart and best of the boardwalk from Case Creations. I have two cubes missing from Super Tarts Luna. And then the last thing in here is Super Tarts Ginny, which is Smoke Poppy and Celebrate. And it's a full clam and two cubes of a clam. So that is everything that I've chosen for the first two months of the Project Wax. And hopefully, maybe I even finish it before two months, which would be great. But honestly, knowing how I melt, impossible. So, although this is alongside my monthly wax picks, and I pick a lot of wax, um, I definitely want to focus on this stuff mostly. So the other stuff is kind of stuff that would be fun to melt in between. And stuff like that. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out as I go. See what works. See what doesn't. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And yeah. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.